Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing part three of create a home security bundle with product rules. So we are going to go ahead and get started with create an alert product rule. Let's go ahead and click on it. So we're going to be displaying an error message when um, a bundle only has one particular sensor and this is going to be on the window sensor. So the first one is we're going to create the product rule for the particular product. Um, and then we're going to attach it and create the error conditions. And then we're going to apply it to the particular bundle and then we're going to test it out. So let's go ahead and jump in where we left off and get started. First thing we're going to do is go to product rules. I'm going to hit new. This one is going to be called window sensor warning. Type is an alert. In the scope, we're going to put it on the product and rather on the quote. Um, an evaluation event is on the save, so it's going to fire when it's on the save. It's going to be an active rule, so if you are doing this in your own org um, and you are just doing it directly in production, which I don't recommend, make sure that this is not active until you are ready to activate it and all the parts and pieces have been tested and, you know, all the fun stuff. Um, for conditions met, we're going to click all. In the message field, we're going to grab this from our instructions. And place it here. All right, we're going to click save. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the error conditions and look, we have a related list for our error conditions. So let's click new. Um, tested attribute is what we're going to grab, or actually the tested, hmm, tested object, excuse me. I'm going to go to product option. Then we're going to click the product code where it equals value. And then again, I'm going to go over and copy this window sensor. These things are always so tricky. All right, save and new. And this one is going to be where this product specifically um, equals one. So we're going to grab a quantity equals a value of one and save. All right, the next part we're gonna do in this rule is create a configuration rule. This is going to be active. In the product field, we're gonna grab home security bundle, or console, excuse me, and click save. All right, now we're gonna test it. So let's click accounts. Go to the Fernando estate. Related. And then we're gonna to go to quotes. Let's find quotes. We're gonna click quote 10. And edit some lines. Add products. And again, we're going to go to the home security console and select it. All 
All right, and window sensor should be here and it should be checked and we have one. All right, let's go ahead and try and save this and see if it popped up with an error message. Hmm, did not pop up with an error message. So let's go ahead and see if we've finished this. It looks like we have finished this. So what I believe is happening is that I'm using another the similar org and I've done this twice. So what should happen is that you should get an error message um, when you are within the quote in the lines of the quote. Um, and then you just have to go back and edit the window sensors to two and then it won't fire. Um, so thank you for watching number three of this home security bundle video tutorial. Um, be sure to hit like and subscribe and join me for part four.